Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Lift Flow Grow. My name is Christina and welcome to my beginner series. I um, created those videos uh, focused on proper alignment, how to do the poses properly, how to get in and get out safely. We're gonna use a lot of props. So if you have a block, that will be great. If you don't have a block, no worries, just get a book. That will do it. Um, we're gonna use a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or your shirt. If you have sensitive knees, I highly recommend using a blanket. So let's get started in child's pose. Find your child's pose, bring your knees to touch, let your hips drop, reach the arms forward and let the head drop. Take one of your blocks and slide it underneath the forehead here, supporting your forehead, allowing your necks to relax, your shoulders to soften and to open, your whole spine to relax and lengthen, and overall your whole body to relax. Balasana child's pose is a great resting pose. You will find it in almost every flow you do. So it's really one of the, the most common poses in, um, in yoga. You can come back to child's pose anytime when you feel like um, you should take a break, you should take a breath, or you're just not feeling like doing downward facing dog, for example, or another pose. Um, so feel free to come back to child's pose um, anytime you need to. Another version of child's pose um, is with the blocks. So um, take your blocks, put them underneath your palms and let the head drop. This is more like a shoulder opening variation of child's pose. If you wanna work on your um, shoulder mobility or opening the front of the body, that's a great way to do it. If your sitting bones are not touching your heels, take one of the blocks, slide it in between and take the other block and slide it underneath your forehead. I would say that that's maybe one of the most supported versions of child's pose. Um, play with them, explore them all, see how your body feels in any of those different versions. You should not feel, feel afraid to use your props, your blocks or your blankets. You should feel uh, comfortable in any of the poses you do. The more comfortable you feel, the more relaxed your body will, will be and the more deeper, deeper you will be able to get in the poses. Slowly come up. Another version of child's pose is wide, wide knees child's pose. Open the knees wide apart so your rib cage can fit in between. Take one of the blocks, slide it underneath the forehead and let your head drop. Let your whole body drop here. The heart to melt, the belly to melt between the thighs. Next step is stack your fists and support your forehead with your fists. The neck should be long and your sitting bones should be aiming down towards your heels. Even if they don't touch the heels, that's okay. That will happen with the time. Great pose here to deepen your breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. One more time, take a deep breath in and exhale. Reach the arms forward, see if you can let your head drop. Go a little bit deeper in your child's pose. Let everything soften, your heart melt to melt, your belly to soften down towards the floor. And come back to your breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And one more time, deepen the breath. And exhale. Good, feel free to come back to child's pose, whatever you feel like it. Next pose is gonna be plank pose. Come back to your four forces, stack your shoulders right on top of your wrists, extend one leg back, really connect to your core, pull the belly in, and then extend the other leg. High plank, push the floor up and away from the wrists, the head is down, 
if you cannot hold your plank up, bring one knee down, then the other. Feel free to modify your plank if you're still building your upper body strength. Another uh, way to modify your plank and make it easy for you is to bring blocks underneath your hands. Pull your belly in, connect to your core. Send the tailbone down towards the heels as you lengthen through the crown of the head. The neck is long, like a natural extension of the spine. Imagine your whole body creating one long line. If this is too much for you, bring one leg down, one knee down, and then the other until you feel strong enough to hold your plank without having your knees down. That might take a week, it might take a month. It, it, everybody's different and um, whatever it takes, just take your time and build your strength. Next pose we're gonna do is downward facing dog. From your plank, keep your hands on your blocks, lift the hips up and back, away from the wrists. Put a deep bend in your knees. If you're new to yoga, glide back in plank. Stack your shoulders right on top of your wrists. That's one of the most common ways to get to downward facing dog. So you don't have to worry about your alignment. You're in a plank, lifting the hips up and back, and you're in a downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent. If your heels are not touching the floor, don't worry about it. Just focus on your back. Make sure your spine is long. The neck should be relaxed and the head is aiming down towards the floor. Gaze is in towards your shins or your thighs. Melt the heart down. Start pedaling your feet, moving with your breath, exploring your body, exploring your downward facing dog here. When you are new to yoga, it's good to move in the poses. See how your body feels. Bring your knees down, remove your blocks. Again, come, come to plank, lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Bend your knees, push the hips up and away from you like somebody's pulling your hips up and away from your wrists. Press into the palms of the hands, really ground down, root down through your palms, pull your belly in as you melt the heart down. Extend the knees, if you want, or you can still have the knees bent and work on the lengthening on the backs of the legs. With the time, you will be able to touch the floor with your heels. Wherever you are, start pedaling your feet, breathing and exploring in your downward facing dog. Bring the knees down, sit back on your heels, take your strap or your shirt in my case, and we're gonna do shoulder opening drills. Lift the arms up overhead and bring them down, lift up and down. A couple of more times, lift the arms up and down. That's a great way to open the shoulders. Lift up and this time we're gonna go all the way back and bring, the, bring it forward roll back, bring it forward. If you work on a desk or if you um, if your shoulders are rolled in, that's a great way to open the front of the chest and great way to strengthen your shoulder shoulders. Bring the shoulder blades down the back, really open through the collarbones and release. How did you like them? I hope you find them useful. Let me know in the comments below hit the like button and the subscribe button to my channel if you want to see more of my videos.